died and he passed away at the year that the military government started the coup, 2014. And that's, a part, that's part of my life too. Uh, being a child for, of the big policemen, uh, sometimes you, you, you have to face something that really extraordinary too. I grew up uh, in the conservative family. Um, my father had to leave the house in the morning before he became big police, and before he got back to the, in the house, we like get night in, in, in the night. And my mother and us, at the, at the moment, I'm the, old, I'm the eldest of five children. I got four younger siblings. So my mother at that time, she was start to go crazy, <laughs> you know, so stressful, whatever, I don't know. So every day you have to wait to make sure that uh, your dad coming home, even though you, you, you cannot do anything because you're just a baby. So, and being a daughter of the big police, sometimes uh, you didn't realize that danger can come to you, especially around the countryside, you know. When I was about 13, 14 years old, I don't remember uh, clearly, came home one day, one evening from school, a lot of policemen and uh, volunteer, volunteer police and army ran a lot, about 40, 50 of them ran for my my fence, my my, my, my fence wall toward another direction and I talk among ourselves, kids, what are they doing? And some other kids say, oh, maybe they try to shoot the bird. They yeah, shoot the bird, and 40, 50 of them. And then that night we realized that uh, because my father used to arrest one man, and put him in prison for two years for robbery. He was a really bad part of the city. So when he came out, he wanted to revenge. So a few nights ago when we were sleeping, my, my bedroom was right in front of the house at about maybe 30 meters from the, from the street. A gunshot came in and dropped through the, uh, uh, through the roof and down, nearly hit me. So. But I was just a kid, I just didn't realize anything, was still sleeping. But a few days after, when we realized that, when in the evening, the police chased the man and shot him dead in his own grandmother's house, just about a few hundred meters from my house. So he could have been dead if the uh, informer was not working so hard to get this, this, this uh, information that they all gonna come in the house and wipe the whole house and wipe waste the whole family on that night. That's why the reason uh, this is the thing that I'm gonna tell you that growing up uh, in the conservative, uh, conservative family uh, is we I've been taught that the world is beautiful, the world is nice. Uh, been for so much protected until I didn't know that the world could be very cruel sometimes. So when I Grew up, left my family. I had to learn right from wrong in many cases. Being taken advantage from so many people, uh, thinking the world is very good, very nice, being naive. So that is the, the way that the Thai family today, why they have to teach the children to understand the world, that the world is not so nice. People smile at you, but sometimes, most of the time, they smile because they want something, either in a good way or in a in the very advantage way, we don't know. So, but I've never been taught that way. So I grew up, learned right from wrong, and uh, up and down so many times. Uh, this is my father, he rest in peace. He passed away when uh, the coup started in 2014. Uh, my experiences, <laughs> I was, at, I was graduated uh, as a general nurse working for government for four or five years, and then start working for Bangkok Pattaya Hospital for a little bit, Pattaya International a little bit, when I moved to Pattaya. At that time, I had scuba diving shop on South Post Office, you know, with my first, first husband. That was the in, in English man. Oh, he was a nightmare. <laughs> Is anybody from England? Raise your hand, please. <laughs> But my ex-husband, he was, he was from Birmingham. He, he was the bad news. We, I didn't realize this until we moved to Pattaya. You know, we, we met in our hometown. I was a nurse, and in the nighttime, because my 
uh, uh, the, the, the chief nurse, she was the, uh, her family owned a pub uh, in, in, in our hometown. My hometown is Sha'am, Petburi, you know Petburi, right? Petburi province. And Sha'am Beach is where I, uh, was where I worked for four years as the, uh, as the general nurse working for the government to pay off the scholarship. I got a scholarship to learn for free. So I have to pay off for four years and get, you know, the first uh, salary base for a bachelor degree at that time, I said 30 years ago, and please don't get me wrong, I'm still very young. <laughs> 30 years ago, the uh, salary for bachelor degree is only 3,750 baht. That was I got. <laughs> you spend that in one night, some of you. Yeah. So. That's for the whole month, okay? So, uh, where was I? Okay, I was a nurse, and in the night time, I had to be the singer for the chief nurse club and the doctor's hotel super club as well. So 